Hello, what is up guys? I am your host the Rave and welcome to another video of the Red Nats. So yeah, there's a little adjustment. Yes, I'm using a completely different camera right now. It is probably I'm streaming with an action camera, which is pretty good by the way. So yeah. So today what I'm gonna do is you know <clears throat> yeah my throat is having problem. I'm trying to show you guys how Vindicta actually works. So I I would like to tell you guys first I'm not a super pro in ramming but I kind of get to know what is a proper way to engage in a ramming procedure. I mean uh, how the ramming procedure works. So I am planning to show you guys how this ramming thing actually works. So let's see what's out there. We're going to play some games. Just want to show you guys how, how ramming works. So just a quick overview. In order to equip yourself with ramming capabilities, of course you will need to have a ram. Plasma ram is my favorite. And then we're going to have thrust amplifier just in case after ramming, you just need to get the hell out of there. Just in case of being people chasing you. Drain torpedo when people put up shield. You may want to drain them a little bit, but I prefer a light flechette, but drain torpedo works for now. Scramble pals, uh, pretty good to confuse people, so having scramble pals is kind of good for me, so everything so far so good. So, this my friend is the Vindicta. Without further ado, we're gonna hop on into a game. And we are game. Ryugu Heaven, that's like the be the worst place it can be for a Vindicta because I don't think we can have enough cover over here so let's see our team, we have of course me we got a Corvette, we got a uh, Destroyer over here that is an Otranto dressing itself like a Trafaga I mean a Ghosta we got a healer, really high damage healer uh, there's like two new ships coming on soon in the in the next couple of weeks so uh, stay tuned for that as well so yeah I'm gonna show you guys in space is probably the hardest part for a Vendicta to perform Ryuk Heaven is still okay but is it, if it is in Ring of Saturn then Vendicta is probably food food for the opponent we get a Corvette in our team Fulgora it's definitely aiming for a Vendicta though my throat <coughs> is killing me. Okay, so in Ryuk Heaven, as a Vindicta, you may want to go under the ring over here. Try to boost up. Try to stay low. Oh. Oh no, okay, Captain Kill. Okay, the command ship is right up here, so we need to emerge. Right now, there's a sniper definitely guarding it, so we can actually either take out the sniper. <clears throat> my, my throat is killing me. Or just purely take out the command ship first. So we took down the command ship. Now slowly we are going for the sniper. Drain torpedoes going out. Need to know where we are going. Yep. Ram successful. I, I, I think he didn't even see that coming. So right now we're gonna submerge right back into the darkness. So that our enemy doesn't seize us. I'm really positive that the enemy is going straight for our command ship. So uh, we're going to resubmit into the depth of space under the ring. Circle them. Being a rammer, if it is on land, I will just stay on land. All right. Train torpedoes have a lock. Since we're at it, just get a little free points. Just want to look better in the ranking. Okay, there is a sniper. 
uh, right now, uh, slowly try to take a look at your surrounding. Train torpedoes have a lock. Train, Train torpedoes, torpedoes going out. Yep, ram successful. Unfortunately, we didn't really see the Corvette. So, uh, usually in ramming, standard rammers I see there will just go in there, kill some, uh, I mean, take down somebody. I shouldn't say the K word because they're going to get flagged by YouTube. K somebody and then he himself get K as well. So, in order to be a decent rammer, I, kinda, I click on space, it's not warping in. Gray box has to fix it. If you actually take down two person and then you just got take down, then you are a decent rammer. Not a good rammer, it's a decent rammer. If you're able to take down like three to four people in a go before you just before you get took down, you are a super rammer. If you can just ram all the way and didn't really get yourself took down, you are a god of rammer. Okay, right now we need to consider our route. I'm gonna go here. Another ring. Without being detected. It's really hard to control though. Let us take another approach. Another approach that we're gonna ambush them on the holes. I mean these holes. Enemy command ship is warped into battle. I mean these holes. Sneak into these holes and try to take down some enemy. Like the command ship is over there. These are like shortcut. Pro tip, in order to cover yourself, you can there is a hole over here that you can actually sneak yourself in. I mean apparently not for Vendicta. But Corvettes I usually do that. So let us go for the command ship. Right, our Corvette is doing its job, which is good. Train torpedoes are locked on. The enemy's command ship has been destroyed. Command ship down for the enemy. We're aiming for the bad guy's command ship. Our placement is not good in any way, so we just purely do it for the guidance. Okay, guiding how to how to rams and stuff. Sniper is hard to ram, but we can try to go for the sniper. Try to stick near the wall. Now, you're, if you're that close, you don't need to cover yourself anymore. Uh, okay, the Corvette is at it. Okay, Jolton is coming its way. Should be popping up here anytime soon. Give it a drain. We do wanna. We do not want to confront the Jolton. Give it a little damage. Jolton is way too way too tanky. Wait a minute, where are, where are all the enemy ships? Definitely there is an enemy ship over here. Ah! Oh, no! Alright. Confuse them a little bit. See, when the sniper... It's really easy to actually uh, avoid a ram if you're a sniper. When you're at horizontal, just tilt yourself vertical and... Practically, and Vendicta will miss its ram. I mean, this sniper definitely have a lot of experience with ramming ships. See, if you don't want to go under, try to go place that you know you have all those covers all over the place. Boost up, boost ourselves. Okay, now they are sticking together. When they are staying together, it is a 
It is really hard for us to ramp. We can, perhaps, we can go for the supporter, which is practically is our job. Yep, that's how we ram. Try to take down as many people as possible when you're at it. Alright. And the Corvette's coming in hot and spicy. Alright. Since we are winning the game, we don't really need to care our safety anymore, but this is how we play. Alright. He's going straight in our face. Be an opportunist. When you got the opportunity to ram somebody, you ram somebody. Alright. We won the game. So that's how ramming works. You stick to the ground, stick to any solid structure just for you to provide covers. Uh, try to use trust amplifier as often as possible to get your to escape. And then uh, remember to, you know, see properly before you try to ram. Think twice before you try to ram a sniper because just a slight move, a little tilt of a sniper can cause you to miss a ram. So if you were to ram, I prefer you to go to a bigger target such as a destroyer or a dreadnought. But usually dreadnoughts always uh, parry you with a uh, armor amplifier. I would just straight up go for a destroyer, which is a much easier target or tech cruiser. So yep, I think that is all for it. So if you guys have any question, you can actually... Uh, Try to ask me in the comment below. Let us go to hangar. Yep, definitely need to go to hangar. If you have any question about ramming, you can actually kind of ask me. Okay, first of all, I'm not a professional rammer whatsoever, but I kind of know how it works and how it should be done. So yeah, if you have any more tips you can provide me, I am pretty much open to any tips that my viewers gave me. So uh, leave a comment down below. If you have anything to share, uh, click the like button. If you like it, that is, oh, my man, give me some support. Give your buddy some support here, okay? And then, um, Subscribe if you haven't already because more video is coming out and then of course more new ship is coming up I'm gonna try one particular ship that I've seen a lot of people have been playing which is from a cool top vector Which is this Krishini. Of course, I haven't bought it yet So we can actually try a Krishini in the next video. So of course that is up to the guys Thank you guys for watching. Of course, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Adios guys